Expo Application Services, or EAS for short, is the next generation of services from the Expo team. EAS Build and Submit make it easier than ever to get your app into the hands of users. Let's look at how you can use EAS to build and submit a React Native app to the Apple App Store or Google Play Store from a Mac, Windows, or Linux computer. Here we have an app running on iOS and Android. In Xcode, I've enabled payments, Bluetooth, in-app purchases, and push notifications. I've also done the same on Android. With EAS Build, we can compile and sign a release build of this native project from any computer with a single command. So let's close all this and run EAS Build in the project directory. This will set up app signing credentials and send your app to the cloud to be built and signed for distribution. Don't worry if you don't know anything about app signing, EAS can handle it all for you. We can also follow the build progress and view the logs from the dev console. When the build is done, we could download the app and submit it to the store manually, or we can get EAS Submit to do it automatically. Just run EAS Submit, select a platform, and choose a build. That'll push the app to the iOS App Store from any computer. For Android, you'll also need to provide a service key to submit to the Google Play Store. After some processing, the app is ready for users to download and test. After filling out a bit of info on the respective stores, your app is ready to go live. On iOS, we can use Apple's Test Flight to invite testers and collect feedback. Okay, the app looks great, but what if we wanted to quickly add a new feature, like dark mode support? Using Expo's over-the-air updates tool, we can push new React code instantly by running Expo Publish. The next time users open the app, they'll see the changes. For more in-depth information on EAS Build and Submit, and to learn what else you can do with them, check out the documentation. So give it a try, and let us know what you think.